welcome to June. Um, so, as promised, I was going to do a June catch-up. Um, I said June this time, not May. June catch-up is not really much different from May catch-up. Uh, as you all know, last month was a bit of a uh, bad one for me. Um, lots of stuff going on up here. So hopefully this month will be better for reading and let's get to it. So, as you know, I am currently reading A Court of Thorn and Roses by Sarah J Maas with the lovely Jess at Make Me Shakespeare. Uh, we had a little book chat recently and we've decided that there's not much left in our reading. So what we're going to do is we're just going to carry on reading the next 15 chapters, get it all done with. Jess has got quite a bit of stuff on at the moment, up until July, Augusty time. So the next 15 chapters of that, going to fly by, make notes, and then we're going to do a catch up, uh, have a good chat and a natter and a laugh whilst scoffing snacks. That's what we usually do when we do as video calls. <laughs> So, yeah, so the next 15 chapters of that, I've got to get read. I have nearly, very, very nearly finished Cersei. I know people have said that it is a very quick read. It should have been a quick read, but alas, it wasn't. Oh, it's so shiny. Uh, but that is how much I have got left. So not much at all. I've read today for an hour, which is really good. So planning on reading the rest of that later on. So... Hopefully that'll get done. As you know, um, I am hopefully going to be reading Believe Me by J.P. Delaney. That is the next on my list after Cersei in between A Court of Thorn and Roses. The other one that I planned to read was uh, The Truth About Keeping Secrets by Savannah Brown. However, um, Jess and I don't know whether we're going to be reading that on the next buddy read after we've finished A Court of Thorn and Roses. Uh, we're big, making a massive list of things that we might want to read, new releases coming out, new series coming out, so if you've got any ideas, put them down below, send me a message, send me an email, do whatever you want, but let us know so we can have a good nosy into it. Now, the next thing that I have thought about since the last time I did uh, the May wrap up uh, I've already mess um, not messaged, I've already mentioned it on Instagram in the stories, a few of you have come back to me saying that it was quite a good idea let me begin there is a place and there is a thing called the bullet journal community and if you don't know what the bullet journal community is it is basically um, where you have a diary but everything is in your diary and you do a bit of doodling you have everything all you ever need in there this is a bullet journal i started this in 2017 so what i was thinking of doing was getting one of these hardbacks and i thought about basically what happened was within the bullet journaling community um one of these was set up and you did a spread each and then it was posted to the next person. It started in America, I think. It might have started in the UK. I can't remember. But it eventually went all the way to Singapore, to Russia and everywhere. And people wrote a bit, a bit about either uh, the country, facts about the country, recommendations, where to go, the favourite things, anything a bit about them. Um, and then they would link it on their Instagram page. So then everyone like, ha it would have a hashtag and then everyone would be able to click the hashtag and then see where it's gone throughout of the world. Um, so a spread looks like, let me find one, it looks like, looks like, <laughs> I will find one. This was my 2017 um, yoga and meditation log. So a spread would usually either be one page or it will, would be two pages. So I thought about combining this with the book community where um, it would start off, say, I'd start it off, I'd write a bit about uh, either what I'm currently reading, my thoughts on what I'm currently, 
currently reading, what I plan to read next, uh, a bit about the page or whatever, um, or any recommendations, then I would then say post it off to Jess, it makes me Shakespeare, she would write a bit in, she would do a spread or whatever and then she would post it off to the next book person. So then eventually it would all get passed all the way around the world, everyone's going to constantly have um, recommendations on them when they go into it and have a look, they can go through past people's, post a picture of it on Instagram or wherever, put a hashtag on it so then everyone can see where it's at and then can always get recommendations wherever it's been passed through around the world and what people thought. There's a index at the front, if you can see. Um, so I've here got like future log, mileage tracker and stuff like that. So what I thought we could do like either put what page yours is on or whatever, whoever um, has done it, say if you've got an Instagram page or just whatever, pop it on there and then put like either the category and what it's about, so like fantasy, romance, sci-fi, horror, whatever. So then if anyone did want a recommendation for anything that they were particularly interested in, like I'm at the moment currently looking for horror ones, I could flip back to the index, find ones for horror and then flick to them to see what people thought and then I would then put them on my like to read list. So if anyone wants to join in, if anyone has any um, hashtag uh, names that I could use or think of that'd be brilliant at the moment I'm currently thinking on using Tink's traveling book journal but I don't know if that's a bit too long but if you've got any ideas send me a message on Instagram put comments down below but that's basically what it is that's basically what it would look like there's thousands of colors to choose from so I don't know which one it would be um, and then once it's filled up either send it back to me or whoever has it last keeps it and then they then start the next one and send it all the way around or whatever um, but I thought it would be a really good idea, fun way uh, and I thought it would be a really good way to get to know everyone better and to get more recommendations, what people thought um, and I thought that it would be really good so it's only a really quick video uh, I'm afraid because um, that's really all I've got to tell you um, if anyone's interested at the moment, my mental state is top notch. It's really good at the moment. Um, so if you want to see my t-shirt, it's a little kitty. My mum got it me. Um, other than that, I think that's it. So it's a really short video, I'm afraid. Um, but that's what I plan on doing. If anyone does want to do this and we get it the ball rolling, my plans are for my next payday, I will get one ordered and then the next month, so it will be started up in July. Um, and then we can get a list going of who wants it, who, who would like to add to it. And then I thought, if anything, do whatever you want. On your page, on your spread, do whatever you want. Paint it, put pictures in it, put tape in it, anything you want, make it your page and then send it off and then you've got all these different pages from people all the way around the world of different creativities and ethnicities and everything and it can all be shared. I don't think it would cost too much to send, it's only probably the same way as sending a book a little bit more, it might be just like an extra quid, so probably about three quid. Um, so yeah, so that is everything uh, for my June catch up and I will see you later on towards the end of the month for June wrap up where I'll be telling you everything that I've read this month, what I plan on reading the month after, uh, all bits and bobs like that so yeah, tune in for next time, see ya!